hello viewers i welcome you in my youtube channel lecture series on labor laws first this is at lecture in this series and by this lecture we are commencing a new topic that is related to discipline in industry in this lecture we are going to discuss what is discipline what is misconduct and punishment in industry this is just brief introduction to the important concept like discipline and disciplinary action so before knowing the laws relating to discipline in industry we must understand which are those important concepts see the discipline is important factor it is very necessary everywhere because without discipline no activity can be performed smoothly in industry the employer has inherent power to frame the rules of discipline as he has right to administer the industry the breach of discipline is called as misconduct it attracts the punishment now we have to see all these concepts one by one firstly we must understand what is discipline see the discipline is nothing but rules made to maintain discipline in industry discipline is nothing but the code of conduct for workers it provides the rules according to which the workers has to work behave in industry these rules may be made to regulate a behavior of workman at workplace it is inherent power of employer to make the disciplinary rules now we have to see what is misconduct in general everybody knows what is misconduct see misconduct means the code or the conduct which is pro prohibited by code of conduct it is a breach of code of conduct disciplinary rules are nothing but the code of conduct and it is responsibility of workers to follow the code of conduct and when such code of conduct is breached it is violated then it is called as misconduct so it is inappropriate behavior by workman at workplace misconduct is nothing but inappropriate which is not appropriate inappropriate behavior by workman at workplace we have to see which are those kinds of misconducts that can be committed by workman actually the employer has to provide disciplinary rules as well as these disciplinary rules must name which are those behaviors which can be termed as misconduct these misconducts are like non attendance it is responsibility of worker to attend the work regularly regularly and if any worker wants to remain absent from the work he has to take prior permission in the form of permission for casual leaves medical leaves or any earned leaves when worker remains absent from the work without permission or without getting sanctioned leave it is one kind of misconduct and this is called as a non attendance of work 
second is non punctuality the term punctuality is related to following time of joining the work in the morning and leaving time at evening when the workers do not follow the timings of work then this is also the misconduct this is called as a non punctuality then next misconduct is the fighting at workplace the workers are employed in industry to perform the work and not to perform the fight at workplace if there is any problem along with other workers they have to use proper channel to complain it and they cannot fight with each other this is one kind of misconduct they cannot fight with each other then next misconduct is drunkenness if workers attend the work while in drunken condition there is chance of mishaps there is chance of accident therefore the worker should not be drunken during the time at workplace if any worker drinks alcohol or the similar substance at workplace this is also one kind of misconduct then stealing this is the misconduct committed by workers generally they steal the things raw material or finished products so this is also one kind of serious misconduct committed by workers next misconduct is smoking at prohibited areas in industry the employer can specify particular areas where smoking is not allowed and even if the instructions are given even if such notices are displayed there and if any workman smokes at that area this amounts to misconduct next misconduct is breaking or damaging the property of company the workers may not be satisfied with the policies of employer or with the policies of industry and in the result of that dissatisfaction the workers may commit such act which may result in breaking of property of company industry or damaging the property of company the basic intention is to cause economic and other kind of loss to employer this is misconduct the next misconduct is absence from assigned place of work the employer can allot a particular work to employee workers that work may be allotted at particular place it is responsibility of workman to stay at that place only where he is employed and to perform that work only but if that workman goes anywhere other than the place of work it is one kind of misconduct the next misconduct is carelessness in handling tools and equipment the work worker may be in the possession of tools and equipments for the work which is allotted to him he must use such equipments and tools while performing the work it is 
the responsibility of worker to take care of all the equipments and tools which are allotted to him where he carelessly handles such tools equipments it may damage such tools and equipments and it may cause economic loss to industry this is one kind of misconduct then next misconduct is falsifying the records reports time cards and accounts also it is a responsibility of every worker to maintain correct records of their work it is the responsibility of accountants to maintain correct accounts to maintain correct flow of incomes and expenditures if the person who is allotted with the functions of reports time cards accounts they do not perform their function properly and they falsify the record this is also the misconduct which attracts the punishment now we must understand what are the, what is the concept of punishment or disciplinary action the punishment is nothing but the disciplinary action taken by disciplinary authority for misconduct disciplinary authority has always power to punish the workmen who violate who breach the code of conduct the punishment which is given to workmen must be in a proportion or in a gravity of offense or misconduct committed by him the punishment should not be excessive so the punishment even it is a basic right of employer to punish the workers who violate the code of conduct but he must take care that due to the award of punishment injustice should not happen with the workers he the disciplinary authority can award following punishments for misconduct after following the principles of domestic inquiry this is the concept that we are going to discuss lect uh, lectures up afterwards but the following punishments can be awarded by the disciplinary authority the first thing is the dismissal worker can be dismissed from the work industry he can be discharged from the industry the worker can be awarded with the demotion the worker is required to work on lower rank than he is employed the the disciplinary authority may withheld the increments of the workers for misconduct committed by him a disciplinary authority may impose fine or the disciplinary authority may give just warning oral or writing so these are the three important concept we must understand what is the concept of discipline what is the concept of misconduct and what is concept of disciplinary action or the punishment so thank you viewers for watching this video if you like this video please share and subscribe this channel thank you